pain is unpleasant and nobody wants it and I don't want it either. Our first instinct with the pain is to do anything to get rid of it. Our culture tells us to take a painkillers or ice in our bodies or to believe that the surgery is the only way to live pain free. But pain can also be an invitation or opportunity into a different experience of our body or selves. And also in an opportunity to retrain and movement patterns, retrain the nervous system and bring more comfort and confidence and authenticity into our body. So that sounds exciting and encouraging, right? And that's what I'm teaching on my channel. I'm not teaching just the random exercises. I'm not just teaching stretching, strengthening the muscles. My focus has always been how to retrain the nervous system so that we can become more confident and more comfortable, more authentic in our own body. So I'll give you a very simple um, movement lesson right now you can do while you're sitting in a chair so that you can understand what I really mean by pain as, as an invitation into a different experience of your body. So go ahead and grab a chair. So this is not even an exercise, but just to demonstrate the point. And what do I mean by retraining the nervous system and create a different or new relationship with your own body and becoming more comfortable? So let's say you get the neck pain or the shoulder pain or the back pain every time you reach forward or you bend over. Well, let's just use an example of uh, bending over, right? Very common that people get the back pain every time they bend down and coming back up. <clears throat> and you may see that, okay, my back hurts every time I bend because I have a bad back. But that doesn't really help you, right? Then you may say, okay, well, I, I wanna, I wanna do something. I wanna uh, ice my back, or I'm gonna take uh, painkillers because I hurt my back and just bending over. What if a bending can be done in a different way? So that's really retraining the movement patterns, right? Very simple. You don't really think about how you bend over. Maybe you're conscious about your back position and things like that, but. Let's try this one. As you bend over, you don't really have to bend very far, but bring attention to your hips and your pelvis, right? So think about you initiating and leading the movement of bending from your pelvis, right? So think about your pelvis is leading and moving forward, right? And so that begins the movement of the bending. And then coming back, same thing. So Pelvis, you're taking the pelvis, you're moving the pelvis forward. That's bending. And then you're moving your pelvis back. Then you're coming back up. So now you are intentionally doing the movement, initiating from your hips and the pelvis. And that gives you a very different experience of bending, even though you are bending, but you're not bending the same habitual way that causes or makes your body back uncomfortable, painful, and stiff, so forth. This is just an example, and this is really what it means to retrain the nervous system and the retrain the movement patterns so that you're not stuck in the same habitual patterns and the same patterns that give you a pain and discomfort. Every time you repeat the same patterns and you're just reinforcing the patterns and the painful patterns, you can break that patterns by learning a new way of moving using yourself. And you, I mean, that's exactly what I mean by creating a new connection with your body, by learning a different way of moving. So, not even an exercise, but this is something that you can easily apply. And now that you understand where I'm coming from, when I say retrain the nervous system, retrain the movement patterns, and to learn a different way of moving, this is just an example, and if you go back and watch all my videos, that's what I'm really talking about. I'm not teaching you how to strengthen this muscle, or strengthen that muscle, or stretch this muscle, or that muscle, which you know has a place for that. And, but that's really not what I'm focusing on, right? 
So I hope you find this is helpful. And if you haven't watched my last videos also, where I talked about how our culture trains us to be disconnected with the bodies and trains us to view our bodies as a mechanical external object. And I highly recommend you watch those videos too, because I, I think it is really important to have the right mindset when you are practicing the movements. You're not just doing, moving your body parts as if you are you know, manipulating the mechanical objects. You're dealing with your own body. It is important for you to learn from the inside out, not from the outside in. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions or comments, and you can leave your questions or comments down below. And uh, if you like this video, and please hit the like button. If you're new to this channel, please and subscribe to my channel. And oh, don't forget to hit the bell button so that you get notified every time a new video is published. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in next video. Bye bye. I want to let you know that you can join my free masterclass path to comfort, confidence, and authenticity in your body. And this is an overview of my comprehensive movement course called Understanding How Your Body Moves Method. If you want to submit your application to this course, and you can do so in the master class. So I hope to see you inside the master class.